Yeah, hello students uh, uh, welcome everyone uh, to my channel so in the last class uh, we have uh, studied about uh, the construction of a simple uh, binary tree so in this class we are going to look into uh, the construction of a serious uh, binary tree so for this purpose I have intentionally uh, kept the name of the project as uh, binary tree creation so which has uh, contains only one uh, Java source file so how uh, so how how I have uh, designed the program uh, is that uh, in the last class also we have divided uh, the code into three different classes. The first one, the node class, uh, to create the node, and the second one we have uh, the binary tree class. So here we have uh, instead of create a binary method, we have a dedicated uh, insert method here uh, in order, and we have uh, used a loop here uh, to insert. Uh, the nodes, the, whichever the nodes we have, we created, uh, we create, uh, we create in the main uh, by instantiating the node class, and then we have uh, a binary tree creation. Uh, the actual uh, the, the name of the project, uh, which is just nothing more than uh, contains nothing more than a main class here. So here our intention in the last uh, program, if you observe here, uh, let me open that also uh, for a better understanding purpose. A simple binary tree, the project name. So always suggest the students to use uh, uh, the IDE or whatever the IDE you like, either NetBeans or IntelliJ or whatever it is. So here I am, I'm, I'm just opening uh, the last uh, program, a simple binary tree. So if you observe here, uh, in the last program what we did is, uh, we, have made, uh, we, have, we haven't used any loop here, we have just used uh, uh, the manual thing, the hard-coded thing, uh, in a, such a way that uh, the root, uh, the root left contains uh, node two, and the right child of the root will be node three, and so on and so forth. Uh, so in, uh, we have used a create a binary method here. So now uh, my in, uh, here my intention is in this program, uh, in the binary tree creation. So uh, whatever we have uh, did in the manual way. Uh, so I am doing it in a, using a loop here and I have uh, named the method as insert insert here which returns nothing here. So if uh, any program you want to understand uh, you, you need to start from the main here. Uh, so in main what we are doing is just we are creating an object. The main must be as clean as possible. So nothing more uh, just uh, apart from uh, creating objects and calling the methods uh, the main should not contain anything. So here my intention uh, is I have just created an object for the binary tree class here. Okay, uh, the node class consists uh, the code of just for creating a node and inst initializing the node with the value. The node class nothing uh, does nothing more than that. The actual code uh, lies in our binary tree. Okay, so to, uh, in future if you are learning about a binary search tree, uh, they also have designed the programs in such a way that the node class contains the, uh, the, the node creation part. And we have a binary search tree uh, class, and we have a creation binary tree creation like that. We have uh, the third class here, okay, which, which just contains a main here. So here we are, uh, we are we are calling that insert method uh, within the main here. And first, what happens is uh, the very first the node uh, as soon as we call the method, the control goes here, and uh, and the very first node will be the root here because by default the root will be null. Okay, so whatever the uh, we are creating, we have just created a node, and by default, uh, before creating the tree, the root will be null, and uh, whatever the first node we create uh, becomes root here. Okay, so that's what happens in the very first step here. So after that, uh, the current becomes root. So we have taken another object, two different objects here, one for root and one for uh, current here. The current always consists of uh, a root value because in order not to disturb the actual root value, we, we place the current, the root address or the root. Now we make the current as root and from starting from that, we traverse or we uh, insert the nodes with the help of a loop here. Okay, so instead of hard coding, we have just uh, used a loop here. So if root dot left is null, uh, what happens is uh, whatever the node we create uh, becomes the left child of the current node here. If the right is null, whatever the node uh, we are creating, it becomes right. So it keep on uh, uh, inserting the nodes and uh, in this manner. So finally, when you are coming out of the loop here, when you are coming out of the loop, uh, or if you, when you are coming out of the conditions, so always the current uh, becomes the current left child here. Okay. So if if I run this program, you will get 
uh, the better understanding here okay so the very first node uh, the output is here like this it goes like this so for the better understanding purpose i have just used a system dot out dot print statement here so whenever you are creating the first node uh, inserted will be the d here which contains the value d and the, to the left of the d it will be a here and to the left of and the right of the d it will be e here and again to the left of uh, uh, a it will be b and again to the right of the a it will be c and finally the f will be inserted uh, probably as a left of because the current node after the execution of the program successfully the control stops here so if you comment this one just me so if you comment this line here and if you uh, Execute the program once again. The, now the current, uh, the current node is A here. Okay, the control stopped at A. Okay. And the last inserted node will be B. Once again. Okay, students. Uh, just uh, let me uncomment this statement here. So if you execute the program, uh, so any program, uh, the first you need to start your journey with the main program and after the execution based on the output, uh, you can have the better understanding of the program here. So here what we did is, uh, so if I am uh, now adding another node here, so bt dot uh, insert, so let us say here, uh, let us say it as g. Okay, so if you execute the program, the g, got, g gets inserted in the tree. And obviously, uh, if you start our journey once again here, the first node will be D, and to the left of uh, the D it will be A, and to the right of uh, D it will be E. Okay. Okay. And and what happens is uh, this B becomes a left child of A, and C becomes a right child of A, and again the F becomes the left child of P and G becomes right child of P. So in that way, the control stops at uh, B. And the last inserted node, it is showing as yes because in this method we have taken the, the last inserted node with the left child of the current value. So if you check the current node here, it is P. So last inserted means uh, whatever the left uh, we have taken here, the, whatever the left uh, child value of the last inserted node, it will be the, uh, the current, whatever the left, uh, child of the current node will be the last insert we have taken like that two methods just for the understanding purpose here uh, just a current uh, what is where is the current position of the after we after we keep on inserting the nodes just to know that and uh, the last inserted node i have just for understanding purpose i have taken these two methods so absolutely we don't uh, we don't need uh, this methods in our uh, crea uh, creation process using the loop here so this is the way uh, you need to understand the programs. Uh, the only way I have taken uh, the help from the various sources and I have structured the program in this way. So go through this uh, source code once, which I have uh, given you in the PDF. And if you have any doubts, you can uh, uh, put in the comment section. And you can subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you very much.